Good morning, everybody. Praise be to the Lord. Uh, we're going to continue with our classes today. Today is Tuesday. We're going to continue with uh, our topic in reading. I hope two things. I hope you study for the spelling bee. It's next week. Okay. It's next week. Um, if you check your syllables last week on 24th, July 24th, we supposed to have a quiz on spelling and grammar. But last week um, was a week off, right? So, the quizzes will be next week also, on Monday, okay, <clears throat> on Monday, it will be during the class, it will be during the class, okay, I will send the links to enter. To, to to the quiz okay um, I hope also to everybody to enter to imagine learning I didn't check yet who entered and who didn't enter yesterday or start to enter and realize the exercises I didn't I didn't check right but i hope everybody enter you start to work in imagine learning um what else today you have to send a uh, homework of spelling it's on platform okay remember it's a video with a presentation i will show how to how to make uh the powerpoint presentation as a video it's very easy to, to change it okay so i will show you that later later i will send a video for you okay i hope everybody make the sentences of the words right because that is that thing is what we're going to I will um, share with you right now what we are going to do. We already write uh, one sentence for each word. Okay. We already write the sentence or one sentence for each word now and then you write the vocabulary three times in your notebook i hope so let's share what let's share what we wrote okay in our notebooks because then we're going to well, we're going to do this today also, okay? And we're going to see the anonym or synonym, the antonym or synonym of each word, okay? So let's see. I want to hear to Jimena to tell me one sentence for any one of, of the first word of the vocabulary. Remember, I will share with you the words from the vocabulary if you don't mind. The first word is impressed. And I want to hear Jimena.
Can everybody on your camera, please? Aha, uh Jimena. -huh, You did it or you didn't? Disneyland Impress. Okay. Let's see Felix with the word admitted. I admitted my father because he's um, um, I, I really love how you improvise. That is the meaning you didn't. Let's see, Yvette, produce. Produce. The cut over produce way more than the baby needed. Hey, Valenzuela, destination. This marathoner's goal is to the first to reach at the finish line, his destination. Hey, very good. Uh, Cesar Colindres, original. Give me a sentence with the word original. I don't have it. Okay. Uh, Juan Diego. With the word original, give me the sentence with the word original. This object is original. Marilyn, give me the word, give me the sentence with the word concentrate. Diego made him concentrate on on his finger. Okay. Um, Ana Cecilia, give me a sentence with the word collected. I collect cards when I was younger. Okay, very good. Ricardo, with the word rumor. Sometimes a rumor or news can spread about who won a contest. Uh huh. Very good. Okay, let's see, Emily. The word suspense. Suspense. The fans are suspense, wondering how we'll win the game. Uh huh. And Jose Manuel, the last one, completement. A first place trophy is a compliment raising the dog in this country. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, people. Let's continue. Don't stop today. Okay. Well, let's do to do this first, okay? We're going to match the the words and we're going to do this game. So just wait. I 
you see the screen? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. let's go to start into this with the vocabulary B. Okay, you have impressed. It's about synonym and antonym, okay? Let's go to repeat the word. Impressed. What word do you think is the best that describe this word? Disappoint or strike? Strike. Huh? Strike. Strike. Disappoint or strike? Strike. Okay. You have compliment. What do you think? A word below that that describe this word. Applaud or criticism? What do you think? Applaud. Applaud. Okay, very good. Admit it. Let's see. Which one do you think describes this word? Deny okay. or confess? Confess. 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 Okay, suspense. Knowledge or apprehension? Apprehension. Apprehension. The apprehension? apprehension. Very good. Let's see collected. Give up what give away or pile up? Pile up. Pile up. Original. Fresh or duplicated? Fresh. Fresh. Rumor. Hearsay or facts? Facts. 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 No, here's no, you see? Hearsay. Rumor. Thursday. The definition of rumor is a story or a statement in general circulation without confirmation or certainty as to facts. Synonym hearsay, antonym facts. Concentrate. Think or drift. Think. Think. Produce. Not doing anything. Create. 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 Destination. Beginning point or end? End. 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 Okay, very good, people. 90% only one you miss. Okay, only one you miss. So, let's continue. Let's continue with our games for today. Just today. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about synonym or antonym. Let's enter to this uh page also okay camera sun okay you will see rumor it's equal to truth is an antonym or is a synonym Synonym. Antonym. Remember. Antonym. Antonym. Remem remember. Antonym. Quiet. Remember. Synonym is the same. Antonym is the difference. So rumor is an antonym or synonym. Antonym. 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 Synonym. Synonym. It's an antonym. Concentrate. It's equal to think. It's an anon antonym or synonym? Synonym. 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 
Impressed is equal to disappoint. Is an antonym or synonym? Synonym. Antonym. Antonym. Synonym or antonym? Antonym. Good. Original. It's equal to fresh. It's an antonym or a synonym? Synonym. Synonym. Antonym. Synonym. Synonym or antonym? Synonym. Synonym. Good. It's synonym. Admitted. It's like acknowledge. It's synonym. Antonym. Or antonym. 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 No. It's synonym. Sorry. Suspense, it's equal to knowledge. Antonym or synonym? Synonym. It's antonym or synonym? Antonym. Antonym. Good. Collected, it's equal to gather. It's antonym or synonym? Synonym. Synonym. Good. Produce, it's equal to do. Synonym. Synonym. Destination, it's equal to beginning point. Antonym. Antonym. Complement, mm -hmm. it's equal to applaud. Synonym. 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 Okay, good. Another 90% people. <laughs> Let's continue. We have a lot of games to do today. I hope so. I hope so. Let's go to complete the sentences. Let's go to complete the sentences, people. Let's just wait. Be sure what is it here. Okay, let's see. We have our sentences. Okay. You have you have the word mm -hmm. original. Produce, destination, admitted, suspense, concentrate, rumor, impress, completement, collected. All the same word for the vocabulary in reading. Number one, Calvin space to his mistake. Number two, the mystery movie was full of space. You have no basis for your opinion except space. The diver, space, many sponges. It is important to have space, ideas. The craftsman, space, hand carve objects. My mother gave me a space on my story. I am space by the girl's good manners. It is easier for me to space in a quiet room. Choose a closed space for the field trip. Okay, let's see. Which word do you think it's going in the first one? Calvin is Calvin space to his mistakes. Impressed. No, it's incorrect. Admitted. Destination. Admitted. Destination. Seña de que no sabe las definiciones de las palabras. Admitted. Calvin admitted to his mistakes. Number two. That mystery movie was full of suspense. 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 Good. 
You have no basis for your opinion except. Someone. Rumor, say someone. Very good. Mm -hmm. The diver or diver, the diver space many sponges. Collected. Collected to someone. Very good. It is important to have space ideas. Original. Original. Okay, very good. The craftsman space hand carved objects. Produce. My mother gave me a space on my story. Impressed. Compliment. 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 I am by the girl's good manners. Designation. Right. Impressed. Esa que dice designation no sabe cuál es la definición de designation. It's impressed. It is easier for me to concentrate. 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 And destination is the last one. Just a close destination in the future. Okay, very good people. Another 90%. Let's continue and let's see we have another game today. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about uh, today about science fiction. The science fiction is writing or it is writing based on scientific ideas and often set in the future. Okay. Sorry, that is science fiction. Let's go to the page number 510 on your book, okay? Let's go to the page number 510. If you see, that's when said genre, okay, the genre. The science fiction is writing based on scientific ideas and often set in the future. As you read for, or you, as you read, look for technology and the future, unrealistic events, characters that may or may not be like real people. Does anybody of you know about any movie or any book that genre is on science fiction? Science Star Wars. Star Wars. Very good. Star Wars is one movie of, of uh, science fiction. Okay. Give me another example. Mm -hmm. Avengers. What? Al futuro. Ah, Back to the Future. It's another movie of science fiction. Now, what these movies are in the gender of the science fiction? For example, Star Wars. Star Wars um, shows something that is maybe impossible, could be in the future. It's in the galaxy, appear many characters in the movie that are not humans, okay? And they can stay in many, 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 many planets, okay? In all the 12 movies we saw of Star Wars, because we have almost 12 movies of Star Wars, um, we saw many places, we saw many characters 
we saw many uh, creatures on that movie. Now, what happened with Back to the Future? With the movie of Back to the Future. That movie of Back to the Future is science fiction. Why? Because it's something, doesn't appear any other creatures, only appear humans, obviously. Like this character of uh, Marty McFly and the other one is uh, Emmett Drown, the Dr. Emmett Drown, the principal characters. So um, they travel to the future, even to the past, okay? But the thing is, when they travel to the future, it's a surrealistic future. That movie was in 1985, was the, 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 the setting and the plot of the, of the story was in, in 1985. And when they traveled to the future, the year was 2000, 2020, I think. And if you saw the movie, and if you saw the movie, the three movies, when they travel to the future, they will have different car, uh, time of, different type of cars, flying cars, and right now we are in 2020, and we don't have flying cars yet, right? Well, I uh, suppose uh, the, the gas or gasoline in those times, it would never use, and they use, for example, solar system or uh, use another stuff to protect the environment, and we still make the damage the environment. Okay, for that reason, it's science fiction. Now, what do you think? Um, for example, these movies of, um, for example, Harry Potter. Uh, these other movies of The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. Uh, do you think these movies were science fiction? Yes. Why? Yes. Why? Uh, because unrealist events. Exactly. They have unrealistic events. For example, in The Lord of the Rings, if you saw the movies of the Lord of the Rings, even The Hobbit, uh, more of the places that are appearing there, like Mordor, Isengard, um, Hobbiton, and other places that are appearing there, actually doesn't exist. Well, actually, Hobbiton exists. But it's a touristic, um, now how I can say it? It's an, um, it's a touristic place in Australia where, or New Zealand, I didn't remember, when everybody can go see the pictures, watch the, the places, the houses, and Habitat exist. Okay, Habitat exist. Okay. But for example, um, Gondor doesn't exist. Isengard doesn't exist. The forest of Fangorn doesn't exist. Are surrealistic places. Are surrealistic uh, events also. For example, in the in the movie of the Hobbits, in the five uh, the Hobbit and the five armies, we have elf, we have dwarf, we have humans. We have uh, orcs fighting in the same planes. Even the race of the orcs doesn't exist. The race of the of the of the elf doesn't exist. The only one who exists is what the human. But the, the, the human race in that movie is in a surrealistic event, even in Harry Potter. Howards only exist in our imagination. Howards doesn't uh, Howards doesn't exist. Okay. The uh, another place that is really surrealistic in, in, in Harry Potter, 
doesn't matter in the movie even in the in the uh, the, the crimes of Grindelwald, okay, the last two movies we saw, um, this the the train straight the the train station, the nine three over four, is a surrealistic uh, place, okay, just to say the name, the station nine three four. Somebody said here. Hotel Transylvania. Um, well, it's an animated movie. It could be surrealistic because the place doesn't exist. Well, Transylvania exists, but maybe the hotel in that way we saw doesn't exist. I already said Harry Potter. Okay. For example, what do you think of these two movies are uh, surrealistic? For example, um, Avengers. Yeah, Avengers is surrealistic. It's science fiction. The places exist, the cities exist, but for example, the headquarters of the Shield doesn't exist. Um, all of those characters were imagination of one man. So if you saw many of the movies or books are in surrealistic uh, events, somebody of you, maybe I really don't know, maybe um, watched the movie of The Conjuring, El Conjuro. Someone of you watched that movie? Andrea. La primera. Yeah, it doesn't matter if the first one or the second one. Andrea said she wa uh, she saw it. I want to ask you, do you know uh, about these movies of The Conjuring, even for Annabelle, okay? Because it's the same universe. Um, universe of movies right uh, these uh movies were based on on this couple uh the warren right Those warren right um my question is do you think this movie is surrealistic or are realistic what do you think i'm talking about the conjuring i'm talking about um do you think it's surrealistic? Well, could be, could be, because this movie is based on a couple. It's it's based on two persons that said that we saw in the movie it really happened, right? For saying this way, these movies are based on real real events right it's supposed to be for example this other movie the exorcist the exorcism of emily rose it's another one that's supposed to be in real events well actually the exorcism of emily rose it's based on 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 on, on, on a true story okay so in the years of the 60s, 70s, I really don't remember. How I know that? Because I really watched the movie, I really love the movie, and I investigate about, about all of that. Um, but it's different. It's different when you, right, for, okay, for example, let's see. Somebody watch this movie of um, The King's Speech. No. Okay, nobody watched The King's Speech. The King's Speech is about real events. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think you were, I don't think you were watching any movie that is on real events. 
because I'm not too much entertained or really boring and blah, blah, blah. Bohemian Rhapsody. Somebody watch the movie of Bohemian Rhapsody? Karim. Karim saw, Jose Valenzuela also saw the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. It's about Queen, right? And do you see, when you see the movie, it's a surrealistic place that appear in there? No, because all of the movie, it's talking about one band, one singer, that is Freddie Mercury, and they talk about what happened during the life as a singer of the band of Queen of Freddie Mercury, even what happened with the band, okay? Even what happened in the Live Aid, in that concert in 1985. So it, that is not a surrealistic thing. Maybe a few facts, very high facts, but the most of the movies are really bad. The most of the movies, if you see, uh, are not real events and others, a few are real events. Somebody saying here, Las Leyendas. Well, actually, a leyenda, it's coming from a real fact, but that is change during the time because it's passing from people to people to another people during the years. The legend become myth, yes. A legend become myth, and a leyenda se convirtió en mito. Okay, people. Let's see, we have less than one minute. Okay, we have less than one minute. And we're going to stop in here. Okay, we're going to stop in here. And we're going to continue with science at 8.20. Let's go and drink your coffee. Let's go and eat something. Take a shower if you want. Okay, see you at 8.24 uh, science, people. Bye-bye.